Alrighty, this is going to be a very short video as I just want to set up the sockets for the foundation of which our walls are going to spawn. So obviously we have one socket here, so it's going to be test socket. So let's actually rename this to, let's do something short. So POS zero. Then I want to have another one that name it. POS1, and I'm going to make this also the wall. So let's see, I want to have this one rotate 90 degrees, and it's not fitting in the center. So let's bump it over by 10 and move it back to about, yeah, those are lined up and intersecting. I didn't do a great job uh, positioning these, by the way. So the sizing and all that kind of crap, they're going to be intersecting, long story short. Uh, so anyways, let's continue. So now we need two more. So POS2 and position three. Right, so let's bump this straight over. We're going to add a wall here. Do it by 90 degrees. That fits. And then the final position which again is going to have a wall. Rotate that by 180 degrees. And we need to go back just a little bit. All right, so that goes, make sure that's actually fitting correctly. Yep, that seems like we're good to go. So we now should have our positions there. Uh, it would probably be a smart idea. I'm actually going to grab... I'm going to actually, I want to offset these a bit. So instead, I'm going to grab the last position. And put that where position one should be. Then I'm going to take position two. Put that where position three was supposed to be. I'm going to take position one and put that where position two was supposed to be so now we have position zero one two and three so that way it just makes a little bit more sense so we have all of our walls or our sockets lined up to where when we spawn them there realist realistically we should be able to spawn a wall or a doorway just fine and not really have to worry about it so just to make sure i'm gonna I remember i wanted to do pos zero and that should spawn it. Whoops, I spawned it in the wrong manner. So we're spawning in world space. And let's actually go ahead and spawn this as a wall instead. We're going to spawn a wall at POS 0. So we have a wall there. Let's do POS 1. We have a wall in that backside and so on. So if I do POS3, obviously that's going to be on the wall closest to us, just like so. Alrighty, and if I want to drop it down, go to the first index. Alrighty, we may have actually found a potential mistake here. So they are not spawning on the index of zero. They spawn on one, and they spawn on two. Okay, so we do have a bug that we have just introduced. I find it odd because I think it was working on with the cube. But why would it work with a cube and not the wall? There's the cube. Okay, so we obviously broke something here. Alrighty, so let's see what that is. Let's go ahead and do a printout to see, you know, whether or not it's false or not. 
So we're going to do a print string and print out success. Okay, it's showing success is false. So that means we can probably go through and step through whichever one of these we are having a problem with. So we might either be failing here or in here. At least those are my two assumptions. All right, so let's uh, close that down. Launch with a debugger. Alrighty, let's go back. We're gonna, whoops, place down a breakpoint. Uh, we'll just do here and here. So we'll see which one triggers, if any. Okay, neither of those actually did. Makes me question, where are we hitting? Let's hit play. You keep going back and forth. And I went too far. So let's continue one more time. Okay, we have that if check. Seems like it runs right through to the relative transform. Which, why is that 360, 360, 360? That seems a little bit off. Wait, where even is the cube? Yeah, that's right, I'm not spawning the cube. So I'm going to plug that up and just spawn the cube just to kind of get another visual of where it's at. Go ahead and continue. Yeah, so that's at the world origin there. Why would it be running... Yeah, because it's... How is it empty? All right, I did a little bit of thinking. I think I figured it out. So the issue might, I think, lies from this check here. So what's going on is when we want to get the instance transform, we are getting it at, not in world space, we're getting it in relative space. So when I go through, let me hit play so I can show you. When we're getting the space of index zero, which would be this guy right here, we're going to be getting essentially the world origin of that mesh. So the transform is going to be right here. And because it's relative, it's really, it's going to be an empty transform. So when I do this check, the transform is pretty much, well, it is zero. So if I remove this check and then try it, we should be good to go because we're no longer checking it against itself, if that makes sense. So we're we're getting a zeroed result that is correct, but checking if it's zero breaks it. So now, as you can see, I have no problem. I just spawned a cube. So if I change the actor back to a wall and test on index zero, as you can see, everything works fine. So it was just due to that. So that fixes that problem. And we now have our socket set up. So we know we are good to go. Alrighty. So that pretty much wraps up this video. That extended a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I'm glad I was able to at least find that issue and kind of troubleshoot it a bit. But anyways, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to nearly all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That is also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next one.